everybody, Desk Soccer here. So time for another upgrade my RC51 video. And this time I'm actually upgrading something that's always kind of annoyed me with my RC51. And that is the adjusters you have to use to make certain your uh, rear wheel is properly aligned and set. Now you can tell by looking at it, it's got a just a bunch of, of uh, stamp marks on the swing arm. And you just sort of like try to line it up to the little almost invisible hash mark here and the lock but the lock nuts are down here and i always thought this was kind of clunky now i understand that you know street bikes there they have to build to a cost and i thought they could have done a better job so what i did was i uh, looked at what other guys were using and it seems to be everyone with RC51s have all come to the same conclusion that the the best uh, wheel adjusters are the ones from Race Torque, and you can see like these things look look like a fine fine made Swiss watch. Machining and manufacturing is just top quality. They are a little expensive. I'll make sure I put a link to their website so you can actually uh, uh, check it out. Uh, they make these for Hondas, so you tend to see this the RC. 51 and uh, uh, several of the CBRs. So they're really uh, high quality. They're actually very light too. And they actually have a stop point. So when you, you tighten things or loosen them, you can actually hear a click as they, uh, they move in or out. So let's uh, take the old one out, put the new ones in. So the first thing we have to do is get the uh, wheel nut off. Now you use an adjustable wrench, or if you're like me, you have to have the actual correct 32 millimeter wrench. Now just for the record, I'm trying to work around the camera here so it actually sort of slows everything down. So these two parts we're gonna keep. So we need to get the axle out of the way. And that's what this soft blow hammer's for. So according to the instructions here, if I was installing it on a, just an SP1, I would only be using this part here. Because I'm actually installing it on an SP2, I need to have this extra plate in to uh, allow for the extra thickness of the SP2 swing arm. So on the on the back here, you can see there's two sets of bolts. Uh, these bolts right here would be used if you're using the uh, the, re the rear stand plate for uh, for like track days. I'm using spools, so I didn't bother ordering the uh, the the adapter plate for this. The bracket that locks this onto the back of the swing arm are these two bolts here. So you make sure you don't try to confuse these bolts for the, uh, the backing plate for the other ones. So you can see when I slide this in, the backing plate's got some uh, little hooks on here to grab the backside of your swing arm. So as this goes in, like once everything's all tight, this will be good and stable. So these are all tightened down now. And now we put the uh, main screw in. There you go. It's good and tight now. So now what we'll do is we'll go over and do the other side. So I'm just going to pull the axle out. And of course my, my rear wheel is uh, supported still by that uh, scissor stand. So as, as you can see here is the, the hook that will uh, 
grab on the back side of your swing arm to help hold this in place. So you can see that even if there's a little bit of torquing, it's not going to come off. And all we do now is we just put the uh, final screw back in. A little bit easier with the ball socket. out so you can get in here with the uh, socket wrench or allen wrench there we go the uh, axle bolt back on. The advantage you can sort of see at the bottom of the screen here is the scissors jack I have holding the wheel up. It's actually a much easier job than if I was uh, trying to do it by myself. And you have to make sure you're... I noticed that the, the quality of the workmanship here is that the, uh, the adjustable part here actually is has been machined so that the uh, the one end of the uh, rear axle of the R251 just slots right in there perfectly with no uh, misalignment at all. It's almost like this guy who designed this stuff knew what he was doing. So I have the chain adjusted. Uh, the nice thing is these fine uh, measurements here, you can actually pick a point and measure your uh, position from your wheel really, exa really exact. And again, the washer for the, for the uh, axle nut fits perfectly into the machine slot. That's a very well thought out design. So there you have it, that's uh, Race Torque uh, rear wheel adjusters. Very nice uh, piece of a kit and uh, besides working well, I think it actually makes the RC51 look a little bit better. So from start to finish, this was about a 15 minute job. Uh, using the camera took about three times as much because uh, having to move the camera and uh, the lighting and whatnot. It's not a difficult job, the instructions are pretty uh, pretty easy. If you can assemble IKEA furniture, you could do this yourself. It's not a big deal. Uh, important thing is always remember when you're finished, uh, make sure that uh, wheel nut is, is torqued to the correct spec. It'll be in your uh, Honda's manu Honda manual or, or your uh, service manual. So I'll put a, uh, a link in the description for their website if you want to go check it out. And you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to uh, answer them. Desk Docker. Signing off.